Snapper plays virtually any sound file, including the soundtracks of video files. You can click here to play a file. Or use the keyboard shortcut, by default shift spacebar, to start and stop playback. Or just double click in the waveform. You can also engage auto play mode to play any file immediately when you touch it. Including surround files. Phase and channel check. You can switch individual channels on and off for playback. Left. Right. You can switch snapper to loop playback in this preferences panel. Below that is also an option to playback your mid-site or MS recordings decoded to regular stereo. Snapper remembers on a per file basis whether you want it to be decoded from MS. The MS option is not by default available in the toolbar. For that you must edit the contents of the toolbar. Like this. Right click in the toolbar and select Customize Toolbar. Now you can drag the MS item into the bar. You can also grab the Vary Speed control from here. Now you can play back from half speed to double speed. Handy if you need to listen through much dialogue. Zero. One, you can speed two, up while pitching three, up, four, five, six, or you can seven, keep the eight, pitch constant. Nine, ten, eleven, Set this in the Behavior Preference panel. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Here. In the Preferences, you can tell Snapper to follow selections in iTunes or switch off Snapper appearances on files with video content. There are several ways to zoom your waveform view. You can use the scroll wheel on a mouse to zoom horizontally or you can use these toolbar items. You can use keyboard shortcuts that are editable in the Preferences menu. Vertical zoom is done here, or again via a keyboard shortcut. On a laptop's trackpad, draw a circle with two fingers to find out how zoom is working. In the Preferences pane, it's easy to select the same set of keyboard shortcuts for zooming as your favorite audio editor.